Welcome, my beautiful people, to another episode of Dino Basics, where we dig up the basics on some of our favorite deceased beasts. My name is Logan, and today we'll be looking at the giant flightless feather bear. Thank you once again to Kevin O'Bill4818 for suggesting the U Tyrannus. The exact date of when the first fossil of U Tyrannus was found is unknown. But the species would first be described by paleontologist Zhu Jing in 2012. The original fossil, as well as two other nearly complete specimens, were purchased from a fossil collector who claimed to have excavated them from the Liaoning province, an area in the northern regions of modern-day China. These three specimens are the only fossils of U. Tyrannus to have ever been discovered. The type specimen for this dinosaur is remarkably complete, with a nearly fully intact skull. This type specimen is also significant for containing evidence of feathers on the Eutyrannus, in the form of imprints around the rock of the fossil. These feathers were fairly long, averaging about 8 inches each, and would have probably covered the entire animal, although the fossil only shows evidence near the pelvis and the foot. There is only one species of U. Tyrannus recognized, this being the U. Tyrannus Huali. The genus name is somewhat unique in that only half of the name stems from Latin, that being the second half including the Greek word Tyrannos for tyrant. The first half of its name, U, stems from Mandarin Chinese, translating to feather, with the full name translating to Tyrant Feather. Its species name, Huali, is also Mandarin, translating to beautiful in reference to the beautiful feathers that would have covered its body. Eutyrannus was a member of the Theropod dinosaurs, a group defined by their hollow bones and three-toed feet, and were one of the most successful dinosaur groups to ever exist. Eutyrannus belonged to the Tyrannosauridia superfamily, one of the most iconic dinosaur groups due to members like the Albertosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex. The Tyrannosaurids first appeared in the early Jurassic, and by the late Cretaceous were the largest terrestrial carnivores on the planet and the dominant predators of the Northern Hemisphere. Under the Tyrannosauridia superfamily, Eutyrannus belonged to the Proceratosauridae family, a classification of tyrannosaurs that lived from the Middle Jurassic to the Early Cretaceous. Proceratosauridae members were considered a midpoint of evolution between the more advanced Tyrannosauridae family, including members like the Tyrannosaurus rex, and primitive Tyrannosauridia superfamily members like the Dai Long. Many Proceratosauridae members were quite small and were distinct for their unique head crests. Eutyrannus would be one of the largest members of the family, at almost 30 feet in length and 9 feet tall. It would have weighed about 1.5 tons, about the same weight as an American bison. Eutyrannus was bipedal, with two strong legs that could help the animal reach up to 25 miles per hour to help it chase down prey. It had fairly long forelimbs, an oddity among other Tyrannosauridia members. The limbs were well developed and sported three fingers and claws, making them excellent for grabbing prey or holding on to food while it ate. It had a fairly slender body with a long tail. Its skull was almost three feet in length, wielding gigantic jaws that contained razor-sharp teeth compared to, quote, knife-edged bananas. Sure, we, we can go with that. It also had a long crest on the midline of its snout, similar to other Proceratosauridae members. This crest was most likely only for display. Covering its entire body would be a primitive feather material, similar to other feathered dinosaurs, like the previously discussed Cynoceropteryx. The feathers of Eutyrannus were more comparable to light down feathers rather than larger flight feathers. By 2012, feathers were not an unusual feature among dinosaurs. In fact, 
Eutyrannus was not even the first Tyrannosauridia member to show evidence of feathers. This honor belonged to the previously mentioned Dai Long. Eutyrannus would be significant as the largest dinosaur to be discovered with feathers, shattering the record by being 40 times heavier than the previous record holder, Bapiosaurus. As for the use of these feathers, it is fairly obvious they would not be for flight, due to the creature's size, lack of wings, and structure of the feathers not aiding in flight. It is more likely that they served a sexual purpose. No. Stop. It would actually be used to tell apart genders or attract mates with their beautiful display. Another theory suggests they would be excellent for keeping the animal warm, which makes a lot of sense when considering the environment of Eutyrannus. Eutyrannus would have lived throughout Central Asia, but all the specimens of the dinosaur were discovered in the Liaoning province of modern-day China. It lived during the early Cretaceous, about 125 million years ago. During this time, much of northern China would have been populated with semi-arid forests and ravaged by cold temperatures, with even snowfall being more than likely. These feathers would help keep the animal warm, insulating its large body during the coldest times of the year. Eutyrannus was a carnivore, most likely preying on large sauropods as well as smaller dinosaurs like the Cetacosaurus and Cynoceropteryx. To accomplish these hunts, it is believed that Eutyrannus would have hunted in small packs or family units. This behavior has been theorized for other Tyrannosauridia members and could thus be applied to Eutyrannus itself. The fact that the original three fossils were also found in close proximity seems to hint that Eutyrannus would be willing to cooperate with others in its own species. All this evidence suggests that Eutyrannus would work together to utilize their strength to overpower large prey or outmaneuver smaller catches. Despite its striking appearance and ferocious weaponry, Eutyrannus has been somewhat lacking in terms of pop culture appearances. These appearances include documentaries like 2018's Ancient Earth and video games like 2015's Ark Survival Evolved, as well as various Jurassic Park games, most prominently as a DLC character in 2021's Jurassic World Evolution 2, alongside fellow Dino Basics entry, Sinoceropteryx. Now we just see an episode on Dino Kyrus and the weird bat thing to complete the set. While Tyrannosaurus Rex can often hog the spotlight, other members of the Tyrannosauridia deserve some attention as well, and Eutyrannus shows us exactly why. Its unmistakable appearance and formidable strength make it a dinosaur that is hard to forget. Yet, with how important those feathers are to our understanding of dinosaurs, you probably don't want to. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a comment below what you think of you, Tyrannus, and if you've heard of this dinosaur before the video. And before you guys comment, yes, I know the bat's name is Jehelopteryx, and no, it's not a bat. It's a pterosaur, and it's a freak. Next week, we'll be looking at one more member of the Tyrannosaurs, Bistahivasaur. Thank you for your support, and see you in the next video.